used to be used as the main ingredient in rat poison. And when we use terms in certain correlations, like the term conspiracy theorist, it prevents people from acknowledging facts and information. Now remember what I told you in the last show, when they don't want you to talk, and they won't even have a conversation about it, that means they're hiding something. But what's interesting is once you start to follow the money, you'll notice that a lot of that money moves around almost as if there's an agenda. Don't, 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 don't. Wait, wait. What? I thought this is what you wanted. I, I, just, let's go get Josh. Hey, man, good timing. Keely and I are just about to bounce. Sorry to be a pain in the ass, but I just can't focus at home with everything that's going on. It's all good, man. I feel you. Does Amy know you're still, uh, Semi-retired? Yeah. Are you kidding? She'd straight up murder me if she knew I was doing more of this. Josh. Hey. Hey. Growing out the beard? It's sexy. Dom can't grow a beard for shit. I barely have time for a shower, let alone a shave. Hey. Thanks for letting me use the office. Oh, please. You spent enough money here to practically buy this office. How is Nicole? You know, this gym hasn't been the same without my little helper. Until they know what this toxin thing is, there's not much they can do. So what is next? More tests? Not really sure. Uh, Amy wants her transferred to a different hospital, so... Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. You know the drill. Lights off and lock up. Mm-hmm. The deep throat network? Josh. You naughty boy. Um, no. Not that kind of deep throat. It's a Reddit page, conspiracy theories. You know, deep throat as in, as in Watergate. Oh, right. Watergate. Follow the money and all that. You know me, mind always in the gutter. Yeah, I'm just trying to get leads on what this toxin thing could be. A lot of chatter online about how exactly the point's making people sick. 
Okay. Time to go. You know, parking on the west side's gonna be a bitch. Where to? Uh, Sadie Stevens concert. Romantic. That's some making babies music. Fingers crossed. Okay, well, uh, have fun. Hey, good luck. And seriously, if there's anything I can do, please just call me. What an amazing father, devoting all that time for his daughter. I'm telling you, that research of his is trouble. The point doesn't fuck around. I think he really went and kicked the hornet's nest with all that press. <laughs> you make him sound like the boogeyman. They make the boogeyman shit himself. still here? Done for the night? Yeah, uh, headed home. Hey, uh, you didn't get me a pass for that conference thing you sent me with Dr. Woland? I doubt it. You know the guy? He runs a lot of the secret shit over at DuPont. If anyone knows what's killing Nicole, it's him. So then, do it by the book. Call his assistant, arrange a meeting. No can do. Lawyer says I'm not allowed anywhere near DuPont. Oh, Jesus. But if I publicly shame him? I'll have to answer my questions, right? You sure about that? These are really powerful people. 
They don't get a shame. They can even Don, ruin lives. They already ruined my life. I'm running out of options. You think you got time to go to this thing with me? Listen, Amy and Nicole are like family to me. I, I understand what you're trying to do, but... Which is why I called you. Come on, man. You gonna help me with this shit or not? I'm advising against it. Yeah, well, this could be the last chance I have to confront these guys. Sorry, Josh. I'm doing it, with or without you. He's here, just walked in. No, that's okay. He made me wait, so now he can wait. Yeah, two and a half hours. Seriously crazy shit. Someone running. And I hear these noises, so I turn around. And it's some kind of like ram or goat. But all fucked up. Hey, there you are. So yeah, this thing was like super aggro, looking all crazy. It's probably a deer. No, no way. This thing had curly horns. What's with the bag? What, you're not talking to me? Priceless. But when I do it, I'm breaking the covenant of our relationship. It's not the silent treatment eyes have nothing left to say. I'm done. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna leave? Or are you gonna go? I'm gonna stay with Claire. I can't be here. I'm tired. I am so tired. All I do is listen to your conspiracy theories. Yesterday it's evil cartel, today it's an infernal deer. What the hell, Josh? You're a smart guy. But I can't watch you go down this rabbit hole anymore. You're driving yourself crazy, you're driving me crazy. I tried to be supportive for so long. Hey, I try to be supportive, but all you do is talk at me. I try to tell you how I'm feeling, what's happening with me, what's happening with Nicole, but Why you- Why would you need to tell me what's happening with Nicole? You think I don't know? I talk to the doctors every day. Yeah, and the person you should be talking to every day is your daughter. I can't see her every day, I have to work. Oh, bullshit, I know you got fired from your job weeks ago. What's it gonna take, Josh, for you to get beside me on this? There's only so many excuses I can give Nicole for why you're not there. I just need some more time to research. I'm so close. So then do it from the hospital. No, I can't do that. Listen, I'm gonna fix all this, okay? I'm going straight to the source. I'm gonna see the main guy. Did you know this guy once broke a cop's arm? Yeah, he's so stupid, he... Hair? Dollar? Great. I'm ready. Count me in. Good evening. 
This is Corey V. Evans reporting live from Cielo Convention Center, where protesters have gathered to voice opposition against Des Moines Chemical. The global brand continues to deny all wrongdoing after whistleblowers exposed gross negligence and a number of environmental disasters. This is your chance. Put him in the hot seat on live TV. Mr. Riverton, you were a promising star of the Des Moines Chemical sales team just six months ago, and now we're standing on the front lines in the fight to prosecute. Why the sudden change of heart? Corey, my daughter, was an active, healthy little girl until she got diagnosed with acute poisoning from an unknown toxin. Stories just like this have been reported from around the world. Des Moines polluting is directly to blame. I've seen the internal reports. They're poisoning the planet. They're poisoning our kids. They've been suppressing this information for decades, and somebody needs to be held accountable. Flinch. I think you're doing an amazing job. Nicole would be proud. I am. Not a lot of guys out there like you. Amy's really lucky. Look, if it was my daughter, I would have done the same. Maybe more. I wouldn't let that asshole get away without giving me answers. Please. Coming from the guy who called Mr. Wollen the boogeyman. Yeah, you said these guys ruin lives. Now you want to fight them? Look. You better believe, if push comes to shove, I'll throw down. <laughs> what? I get shit done. I'm not getting any shit done. I need to find a way to salvage this thing. It's time to get creative. Oh, man, he's probably left already. This is pointless. No way. Look, trucks like that aren't for soccer moms. Look at that glass. It's bulletproof. It's Wollens for sure. I'm sorry, man. We really got to bounce. Look at her. Look at who you're killing. What's the matter, old man? Scared of a little girl's picture? OK, OK. You guys made your point. Time for us to leave. Let's not lose our shit here. Uh, what are the toxins that are poisoning my daughter? Answer me. Uh, uh. Josh! You piece of shit. Whoa, whoa. Let's all remain calm. We don't want any more stray bullets. Zello, put down the gun. Put it down, man. Josh, go to the van. Dominic, are you insane? You're making it worse. We don't need any cops here. Can't let him go. Second I do, Mr. Muscle over there's gonna pop me. Take it easy with that knife. We don't want any more mishaps. Heels, grab the wheel. Josh, get in. Once we're all safe inside, let the old man go. This is so fucked. The cops are gonna be here any minute. We need to just explain to them that this is all a misunderstanding. Heels! Joshua's on live TV making thrusts to this geezer. Who do you think they're gonna believe, huh? We need to leave now before someone else gets shot. We'll talk to the cops when we're good and ready. Fuck, this hurts. I really need you to drive. Put the gun down! I'm not messing around. What the hell? You were supposed to let him go. You do know this is kidnapping, right? I did not sign up for this shit. I gotta go to the cops. Dom, what the hell were you thinking? If we'd have stayed, we would have been killed. We're gone to prison. Did Josh get shot for nothing? And Nicole dies? Is that what you want? I got this. First, Josh gets his answers. 
And then, once we get the old man to see things our way, go to the cops. God damn it! Just get it over with! There's nowhere to run now, Wolin. So cut the bullshit. I gave the point 10 years. I made you rich. Now you owe me. What's making my daughter sick? That's all I want to know. Is that all blood? We've got to get you to a hospital, man. Look, I will talk to the cops. Maybe they'll go easy on us. I agree with the young lady, but Keely, is it? This has gotten out of hand. You should just let me go. We'll put all this behind us. Yes. Not yet. I want some answers. I don't have any answers for you, Mr. Wilton. I'm not a scientist. I simply manage scientists. If you've done your homework, you know that. I did my homework, you... What's wrong? You okay? I can't hear. Yo, it's bleeding pretty bad. Maybe we should stop for some bandages and shit. Yeah, okay, good. We're stopping. All right. But you have to know if I see cops, I am not running. What the hell's taking her so long? Ma'am? Ma'am? Uh, there she is. Okay, all set. Where's the iodine? Thank you so much. like it. What the fuck? Who is this psycho? We won't stop until the threat has been eliminated. You are all a threat. Will somebody tell me what the hell's going on? That lunatic just ran over a guy! What? Stop! We have to go back! The fuck we are! Something is burning. Nobody asked you. Shut the fuck up. Oh, fuck, man. I don't want this thing bursting into flames. We need to pull over. Get our heads straight. And plug up that hole in your gut. Over there. We'll tell, I think. Think we'll make it? I help you? Uh, yeah, actually, we're just looking for a room. Maybe a couple hours? Uh-huh. This way, credit card ID. A actually, we can just take one of these. All booked. Uh, just uh, me and my boyfriend tonight. Hey there. Car was overheating. Uh, this looked like a good place to stop. 
Is, is this the room right here? I can have a look at this for you. You might need servicing. It's nothing. We got it. Just the two of you? Uh, yeah, just me and my boyfriend. Here you go. ID and credit card. Damn, fuses. You know what? I actually really got a pee, so I'll just get those back from you later. I'm gonna take a look at the box. Here, take these. It'll help with the pain. It's okay. It's strange as you're not supposed to take candy from. Candy? <laughs> yeah, right. No thanks. That's right. Jehovah would not approve. Come on, I'm Catholic. <laughs> not Jehovah. Ah, oh, Catholics, of course. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world? What? It's fine. Just take one. It's not going to kill you. Uh-uh, I, I need to stay in control. Okay. Maybe just one painkiller. What are these? This pink one, I think, is Oxycontin. Pretty sure the blue one is Muscle Relaxer. And this white one? Yeah, that uh, shouldn't even be in there. You'd think for someone who loves drugs as much as you, you'd have them all memorized by now. Okay, first off, I don't love drugs. Okay, you make me sound like some sort of junkie. And second... hundred have been reported to have taken ill from the uh, avian bird. Okay, I guess it's Police the Police reporting shots fired at the Cielo Convention Center less than an hour ago. Protesters have already been dispersed and no injuries are being reported, but police are investigating. Choppers have been dispatched on the lookout for a white van. Oh, fuck me. Great. Right now? Let's see what we What's the plan? For the Josh, you need a doctor. Like Dom said, when you get some answers out of this asshole, then make sure he takes responsibility for what the fuck just happened. Okay, hold on. We need to get more supplies, all right? And aseptic, iodine. I'll go out quick before it gets hot. Dom, why don't you repark the van, all right? Get it out of sight. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, you good? Yeah. Wait. This phone's fucked. Let me borrow yours. I gotta call Amy before she freaks. Where's yours? It's dead. Damn it. Where's this bitch? 
Jesus fucking Christ. All set for your big night? Yeah. Um, look, whatever. That store down the road, still open, yeah? Out of supplies, eh? Supplies? Yeah, no. Um... Men are all the same, ain't they? Quick to get between the sheets, but never remember to buy no rubbers. <laughs> right. Uh, just, we're, all, we're all good. Thanks. Don't make no difference, no how. Ain't no baby's gonna grow in no skinny little chicken like you anymore. What did you say to... This is Amy. Hey, uh, it's me. Uh, my phone died. I've got Keeley's. Josh, Jesus Christ, I've been trying to call you. What the hell is going on? Calm down. <laughs> no, Josh, I will not calm down. What in God's name were you doing over there? I hear from Claire that you're all over the news? Talking about Nicole showing her picture? What did I tell you? I had to. You have to see the people that they're hurting. <laughs> hurting? How would you know she's hurting? You're never here. I was off on some wild goose chase. What? This is not... I'm trying to... Trying to what, Josh? Play the white knight for your sick daughter? You want everyone to think you're some noble crusader when really you're just too chicken shit to face reality. You'd rather bury your head in some conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. They've practically admitted wrongdoing. Innocent men don't make settlements for billions of dollars. You're just going to get yourself in trouble. Did you know there was a shooting there? Did you see it? Uh, what? Uh, no, I, I didn't know there was a shooting. We, we left. Where are you? Why aren't you here? What could possibly be more important than being with your daughter right now? I'm trying to get to the bottom of Nicole's illness? The point knows exactly what... Josh, would you please just give the rest? I had to see him. I had to look him in the eye. <sighs> see who? Something's wrong, I gotta go. Whoa, what's going on? I can't, I gotta go. Tell me what's going on. Just get here. Hey, it's me, open up. It's all good. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is Keely back yet? No. <laughs> Classic. I've never understood the appeal of these things. Is it supposed to deliver us from evil? Who cares about that stupid thing? What is the point dumping that's making my daughter sick? Look, I understand your daughter's sick. It's very unfair. And you're looking for someone to blame. Bullshit! I worked at the point for 10 years. I've seen the reports. I've seen your name on them. We have so many divisions. Are you sure you don't have me confused with someone else? I don't. I worked sales in the agricultural division, your division. How do you not remember me? Well, there are so many employees. I could... I'm the guy that went to the press. I blew the lid wide open. Do you remember me now? Just cut the shit and tell me what the toxins are before I really toxins? get pissed. Toxins? Well, what's this about? I don't know anything about toxins. Okay. Just do what he says and you won't get hurt, old man. Tell me and go free. It's that simple. Oh, wait a minute. I see, I see. I'm beginning to get the picture. You worked at the point and got fired, no? Now you're looking for retribution, so you're blaming us for some mysterious toxins. They're not mysterious, you know. You practically invented half the stuff there. That's 
quite perceptive of you. No, you kind of remind me of someone I used to know. But um, I keep telling you, I'm management. Now, you ask me about spreadsheets. I'll tell you anything you want to know. I swear to God, I'm going to hurt this piece of shit. Hold on, hold on. There's been enough violence here today. This has already escalated to kidnapping. If you let me go now, I won't say anything. I'm really getting tired of repeating myself. I really think that you should let me go before this gets ugly. My bodyguard, Azello, he's not quite as understanding as I am. He'll be here shortly. Your man is dead. Serves him right for shooting at us. Now quit stalling and tell me the answer. It sounded to me like that was your wife on the phone, yes? Maybe you should listen to her and give up this futile crusade. <sighs> <sighs> Easy, easy. Jesus, let me look at that. No, I'll do it. Just keep an eye on that piece of shit. Make sure he doesn't get any bright ideas. Oh, hurt your pride, did I? Hey, let me see your knife. Are you gonna do something stupid? Yep. Questioning in the shooting is this man, Josh Riverton, a former employee of DePoint Chemical. He was questioned. So, what happens when that dashing newscaster is showing your face on the screen? Then what? Shut the fuck up, old man. Senator Coons was joined in then the, the life you dreamed up with that Keeley girl goes down in flames. You want me to put that bag over your head? Keep talking. Why are you doing this? What's in it for you? I'll always have my boys back, loyal to the end. Snake like you wouldn't understand that. Well, that's the code you live by. Okay, by all means, then, let's be honest. You're not doing this for Josh, you're doing this for Keeley. You've seen the way that she looks at him when he's out there fighting for his daughter. You want her to look at you that way. I see what you're trying to do. It's not gonna work. You don't know me. But I know the type. You love Keeling, huh? But she's not quite convinced that you're the man for her. She has eyes for someone else. When 
Nicole dies, and she will die, Josh's wife is going to leave him. Who do you think will be there with a shoulder to cry on? Who's Josh's number one fan? Who fantasizes about Josh being the devoted father to a baby of her own? You like that old man? Keep it up. Be smart. You still got time. Walk out that door. Take the van. Go find her. Get yourselves away from Josh's mess. Not a chance. When the police arrive, I'll keep your name out of the report. It will be like none of this ever happened. Yeah, right. Like I'm supposed to believe you. Well, the choice is simple. Lose Keeley to another man, or you take charge and claim the life you dreamed of. Oh. God damn that. She was so bad. I couldn't even see straight. You okay? We need to get this over with, man. They got your face all over the news. Just find out what you can from this piece of shit. And let's get our story straight and dump him. I need a smoke. You love Keely, huh? but she's not quite convinced that you're the man for her. Hey. She has eyes for someone else. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Who fantasizes about Josh being the devoted father to a baby of her own? Devoting all that time for his daughter? You want her to look at you that way? Be smart. You still got time. Get yourselves away from Josh's mess. playing your games. And what exactly do you plan to do with that? Tweeze me to death? Whatever I have to. Hope you can type all the spreadsheets without a thumb. <laughs> I'm really starting to like you, Josh. You got moxie. But let's be honest, you're no more cut out for violence than I am. You're a brain, not a brute. Well, I have no problem jamming this into your gut. Is that the best threat you've got? Hopeless. You point your tweezers at me, and I'm supposed to tell you why your daughter's organs are failing? I never said anything about her organs failing. How would you know that? You did say toxins, right? That's what toxins do. Did you even consider that I could just lie to you, tell you what you want to hear? 
You really didn't think this thing through, did you? Oh, no. Folly of youth. Until the doctors confirm what you tell me is legit, you're gonna sit in this chair. I don't care how long it takes. How much time do you think you have? Your novel mix of stupidity and tenacity may have caught Azello off guard, but he's not through with you. Save yourself now while you have the chance. I'll deal with him if and when that time ever comes. You fool. You have no idea what you've got yourself into. Listen to me. I'm trying to help you. Last chance. Really? Got what it takes to graduate from whistleblower to murderer, Mr. Riffle? Uh-huh. So you do know who I am? Oh, fuck. What's so fucking funny? Go ahead, stab me. Yeah, how exactly do you think that kidnapping and attempted murder is going to help your credibility? The press will have a field day. Deranged madman spouting outrageous claims, assaults a pillar of the science community. So wait. All this... You were just beating me? And finally, a moment of clarity. Of course we were. Frankly, I never thought you'd go this far. Part of me hoped that you wouldn't. But you had to be so goddamn stubborn. This can't be happening. <laughs> All that it is happening, Josh. It's what you wanted. All that remains now is to await your reckoning. Who knows? Maybe a Zella will show you some mercy. We'd look like a hero if he did. This just in. The suspects were just seen around Carterville about 30 minutes ago, where they were apparently in an accident with a train and another vehicle. They are considered armed and dangerous and should not be approached. <sighs> It can't end like this. What's it gonna take? Well, everything has its price, Josh. How far are you willing to go?
This isn't right. Something interesting down there? What the hell did Keely give me? She has been gone a long time. Are you sure she's coming back? Fuck. It's Keely's. Rats always flee the sinking ship. How did you know? Fuck. Fuck, man. Josh, we gotta go. Gisella. He's fucking out there. Kill the guy, dude. So you think I'm a mess? I've lost it? What the fuck are you talking about? Was drug me part of the plan? What the hell? Where's Dom? I should be asking you. What was in those pills? I'm tripping out. Shit. Okay, look, you probably took the MDA. All right, you'll be fine. You'll live. Here, here, take this. Okay? You gave me Molly? For a gunshot wound? No, no, no. MDA, not MDMA. You'll be okay, I'm sorry. You just must have gotten mixed in. You're just gonna trip out a little. Now, where the fuck is Dom? Probably took off from the sound of it. Call him. No, he wouldn't do that, okay? Your call is Shit. Voice Voicemail. All right, look, you gotta go find him. That fucking psychopath is out there, all right? I saw him at the drugstore. He crushed a guy's head. What? You, you saw him the same guy? I did warn you. This is your fault. Call up your goon now. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. This guy's been nothing but a prick. He won't punch for anything. Now he'll talk. Just leave this to me, okay? Go find Dom. He parked the van out back. Yeah. and stay out of sight. what we want, so just tell us so we can get the fuck out of here. And don't think that I'm weak just because I'm a fucking chick. I would never think such a thing. My boss is certainly proof of that. Why, I bet even a junkie like yourself has got a lot of fight in her. Fuck you. I'm not a junkie. 
All right, you see a needle sticking out of my arm? It's recreational, asshole. Fucking different. All those recreational activities must get very expensive. Where'd you get the money, I wonder? Well, your salary barely covers the basics. Then there's the credit card debt. That payment to the... that clinic. How do you know all of this? Who are you? I'm your ticket out of this mess. Look, Azella will be here soon. You've seen what he's capable of. Dominic's long gone. And Josh... Josh is a lost cause. He'll be lucky if he lands in jail. And with you... I'm just a broke-ass junkie, right? Well, that all depends. Maybe we can come to a financial arrangement. What kind of financial arrangement? One phone call. You could have enough money to spend the rest of your days on a private beach in Ibiza. All right, that would have to be an awful lot of money. And just what would I have to do for that kind of cash? Something a lot less demeaning than you've had to do in the past for money. Ugh, a phone call! That's it. I call, talk to the boss, explain the situation. She transfers the money to your account. Done. What's the catch? No catch. Once you see the money in the account, you abandon this silly crusade. Abandon Josh and Nicole? No. Forget it. You think saving the day will make Josh leave his wife and come running to you? It's not like that. We're just friends. It's painfully obvious you want more. Dominic saw it. He was smart enough to save himself and leave. No. Dominic wouldn't leave. Wouldn't he? The text he sent implies otherwise. You don't know what you're talking about. Take the money. Walk out that door. Never utter a single word in protest against a point ever again. That's the kind of silence that five million can buy. There's no way you can get that kind of cash. You can dial the number. I don't have to hold the phone. What's it gonna hurt? Daddy, I'll show you. I'm so good at it. I can do it even backwards. Hold on, baby. There's something on your face. Uh, again? You still have your tissue? Daddy's got it. You still tear it back? Yeah, what's up? Are they in? Daddy, can we go play? They backed out? Are you kidding me? Damn it. There goes my bonus. What'd they say? Who showed them those reports? How am I supposed to sell this shit if that stuff's all over the news? Daddy. Optics? What do you think the optics are, Karen, when my clients hear about some estuary, the point accidentally soaked in benzene? I don't feel good. Shit, I gotta go. It's ringing. Let's put this on speaker. Excuse me. Hello? Uh, Miss Halan, hello. Uh, it's Luis. Louis Woland. Louis Woland. Oh, Louis Woland. To what do I owe the rare pleasure? Sorry to bother you. Uh, what time is it there? No bother at all. It's lunchtime. We're just recovering from a little fundraiser we had last night. You know, our projects don't come cheap. Yes, I, I do so marvel at your talents, Ms. Halan. Um, that's actually why I'm calling. I find myself in somewhat of a predicament. I don't suppose you've seen the news. What happened? I've been kidnapped. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been what? Kidnapped? Yes, I, I'm with my captors right now, being held at knife point. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I need a moment. This is too much. Somebody actually decided to kidnap Louis Woland. I bet it was that crusader. Well, they never cease to surprise, do they, my friend? Uh, yes, indeed. No, they don't. Um, they are willing to take a ransom. I'm going to have some bank details forwarded to you shortly. How much is this going to cost us? Uh, five million US. Great. So pretty much every penny I raised last night is going to some shiftless criminals. Where is Azello in all this? Azello got waylaid by my captors. Um, we'd like to get this cleared up before he returns. You know he's never been one for subtlety. Well, I suppose it's easier to clean up a few suspicious bank drafts than a few suspicious corpses. Send me the details. And Louis. I trust you can take care of all this. We have a deal, after all. Oh, of course, of course. Um, uh, thank you, Miss Helen. Uh, oh, and do give my warm regards to the group. I've completed my end of the deal. Now it's time for you to uphold yours. Oh, no. Not until I get my money. Hey, I'm not an idiot. Text your name and the last four of your social to that number you just dialed. And could you please loosen the straps a bit? My hands have gone numb. Not taking any chances with you, Louie. Well, could you at least take the knife out of me? That I can do. Oh. Oh, that's better. No, all this is just for the greater good, you know? Is that so? Speaking of which... It's asking for a pin code. Remember, by taking this money, you accept our terms of absolute silence. Understood? I don't understand. I just gave you my details two seconds ago. The money's there, is it not? Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Our league has a different way of doing business. Do you want the pin? Yeah, we're good. I can keep my mouth shut. Excellent. Three, two, one, zero. to untie me, I'd like to use your phone too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get your shit together, girl. You're just having a panic attack. Okay. Oh, my meds. She's all right. She seemed very upset. No, 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 no! Oh my God, what'd you do? What'd you do? Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Oh, congratulations. Now you can have two counts of negligent manslaughter for kidnapping and assault. your fault. You did this! Strapped to this chair. <laughs> Bullshit. You did something. I don't know, but you did something like mind control or something. Mind control. You see, there it is. That's the trouble with you young people today. No one takes responsibility for their actions anymore. Keely chose her fate just as Dominic did. Dominic didn't kill himself either. I don't know what happened, but... Oh, fuck. Hello. Oh, yeah. Yep. That'll stop him. <laughs> Dead in his tracks. Give up now. You're smarter than this. Don't end up like your friends. Not till I get the answers I came for. Still playing the hopeless fool. How do you think this is going to play out in the press? Huh? You were the mastermind behind all this criminality. Now, two people are dead. It's over. No one's going to believe a word a murderer has to say. No, I didn't kill them. I didn't kill them. Hmm. I didn't do Are you sure about that? Can you really trust yourself on all those drugs? Maybe I saw it differently. One call to my friends at the network. They'll have half the country believing you're a terrorist by dinner time. This is so fucked. The fuck? Did you see that? It's an ear. Oh, wonderful. I do believe you're finally losing it. <laughs> what did you do to me? Oh, it's never anything you did, is it, Josh? It's always what someone else did. You really do remind me of someone. Follow the money and all that. Josh, is that you? You crying? What's wrong? Is, is Nicole okay? Her liver, it's failing. We're taking her into surgery now. Let me talk to her. <clears throat> Here, it's Daddy. Daddy. 
Daddy, are you coming? Oh, baby, I can't. I really want to, but... I have to take a big sleep, but then I can play with Kitty. I need you to do one thing for me, though, okay? Mm-hmm. When you go to sleep, I want... I want you to think about good things. Only good things. <laughs> Think about playing with Kitty. Think about Daddy taking you for ice cream, okay? Are, are you are you are you there? Okay, strawberry ice cream. I love you, Boo Boo. Mm-hmm. Mommy wants. The doctors are here. We have to go. Where are you? Baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It all went wrong. What, what happened? Fuck. Dominic. Keely. Oh, God. What have you done? It's all my fault. Whatever you hear or see, I just want you to know. It's all my fault. Josh, you're scaring me. I thought I could find the answers. God. So stupid. The whole thing was a fucking wild goose chase. They tricked me. I thought things could be different. I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. I could make things, I could make things better, but I just hope one day you, you and Nicole can forgive me. Whatever you've done, it's going to be okay. We love you. We'll get through this. Just come back to us. I have to go. I'll, I'll call you right back. Wait, wait. I need you to do one thing for me. Okay, you got to promise, okay? Oh, Josh, I'll, I'll call you right back. Just get in the car. Promise me, Amy. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? Whatever happens to me, I need you to look up a company called Hemlock. Hemlock, got it? Hemlock, uh, uh, okay, I promise. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I love you. talking to Riverton's classmate who claims the unhinged sociopath was often high on illicit drugs. Ah! And now, a word from our sponsor. <sighs> What's the matter, Josh? Not happy with the network's coverage? <laughs> <laughs> I should thank you for this material, Josh. It might earn me a Peabody. <laughs> husband has more skeletons in his closet than a Vatican bishop. I'd suggest you do me and Luis a favor and just kill yourself. But you'd probably fuck that up too, like you do everything else. Get a grip. It's just the drugs. It's, it's just in. Josh Riverton is a shameless hypocrite. For years, he's been accepting paychecks as countless people got sick and died. 
I didn't know it wasn't proven. So you grow a conscience and become a phony crusader. What if I told you the answers you're looking for are right behind that door? What's holding you back? Go ahead. Daddy, I don't feel good. You came, did you bring Kitty? No, baby. Kitty's, uh, Kitty's sleeping. I, I came to take you home. Can I tell you something? I know a secret, but I promise to not tell anyone. Not even Kitty. A, a secret, huh? Um, can you give me a hint? Pretty please? I won't tell anybody. Promise no one? Okay. Kitty! Time to go, baby. Nicole. Nicole. Wake up, sweetie. Wake up. Reduced to begging at the feet of those you would condemn. Is this really how you intended to redeem yourself to your family? No. I'm not falling for any more of your mind games. I'm done. <laughs> I doubt that very much. A desperate man will cling to even the most preposterous fiction if it will save him from seeing his own failings. That's where you're wrong, old man. My eyes are wide open. I don't need any more of your answers. I already know what the poison is. I've known all along. The real poison is you. Might be too late for my Nicole, but it's not too late for all the rest. I can still redeem myself in exactly the way she would have wanted. I'll be there at the end to hold her hand. And when she's at peace, I'm gonna end this nightmare that you and your hemlock group started. Uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Mr. Riverton. Watch me. Oh, collector has come for his pound of flesh. I'd find something a little more substantial than those tweezers, if I were you. Hmm, what about the, uh, the pillow? The pillow, that might work. Or the, uh, the lamp. Throw the lamp at it. Or maybe you could ward him off with the angel. Shut the fuck up!
个。Back to where he came from. Oh, oh, you fool! You have no idea what you've done. She's gonna be furious. Oh, you should have left. Why do you still have the chance? Who's she? What are you talking about? After what you just saw. Uh, you still have to ask. Am I going to hell? If you're lucky. Uh, is this the little shit that's been giving you so much grief? He's dead. It's over. Oh, please. This is just a minor hiccup. I have a hundred points and a thousand woolens. So the polluting, the sickness, all on purpose. Salting the earth, one ecological disaster at a time. And killing innocent people in the process? <laughs> innocent? Is that what you think you are? I didn't do that. Your ghoul did. Yeah, it was him, not me. There's no blood on my hands. You have no power over me. I'm right, aren't I? You have to let me go. What if I make you a deal? You give me your soul, and I make sure your daughter has a long life. In a world you're gonna poison. She'll have time. We can't poison the earth overnight. Someone might actually give a shit. No, it's gotta be slow. Humans are like frogs that way. Time's running out. Azello might be banished, but that shapeshifter is still around here somewhere. Do we have a deal? Fine. Send me to hell. As long as my daughter lives. How much time do I have? When do I go? Oh, sweetie, you're already there. Wait, what is this? See you Monday morning, Dr. Woland. Sunday night. That's amazing. That's probably the best news I can imagine. It's a shame Josh didn't get to see all of his hard work pay off. Day point is finished. Hemlock's campaign of destruction will be a secret no more. There's just so much I wish I could tell him now. I'm just happy Nicole could be proud of her dad, and then you're gonna tell the world what a great man he was. Don't you worry, Amy. I'll make sure Josh gets everything he deserves. And how's my favorite little nugget? She's okay. This is her daddy. We both do. But she's feeling much better. Amazing. Well, you give Nicole a big kiss from me. And tell her I'll see her soon. Thanks again, Corey. You're an angel. Anytime. <laughs>